Aaron Pico at 22, the youngest of the 10 fighters or the 12 fighters on the main card tonight. And Leandro Higo again, he has almost become a Bellator champion at 135. He wants to spoil the Pico party here tonight. Look at those records, 18 and four for Leandro Higo. He is an outstanding fighter. Three and one for Aaron Pico. This is gonna be a battle. Here's Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA returns now to the featherweight division scheduled for three five minute rounds live on the zone. We'll introduce first the blue corner. At five foot eight, weighing in 145.1 pounds, his professional record, 18 wins, four losses, hailing from Mosoro and fighting out of Natal, Rio Grande do Norte, Brazil, presenting Leandro Pitbull Eagle. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. At five foot eight, weighing in 145.7 pounds as a professional. Three victories, one defeat. He fights out of Whittier, California, presenting Aaron Pico. And the referee in charge of the action, Mark Smith. Mark Smith is the third man inside the Bellator MMA cage. Pico's already stated if he's a victor victorious right tonight, he wants to still fight by the end of the year. Higo, he hopes Aaron, that he ready. can still one day Leandro claim ready. the 135 pound title. The bell goes. Pico in the red gloves. Higo in the blue gloves. We talked about Pico not making it out of the first round in any of his fights. Well, Higo has eight wins by first round knockout or submission. Higo given a lot of ground right now. He's just trying to feel out what Aaron Pico is doing. Pico taking his time. This is smart. And this is where you look at a young fighter, but he's had so much experience in other realms in the wrestling world and been in front of huge crowds. This is not something he's oh, not used to. Beautiful combination executed by Pico. Both have sterling corners. Pico, also nicknamed Pitbull, in the Pitbull camp. And oh, now Pico lining up. Pico going to the body as well. And Higo just looking to deliver a knee strike from the tie plump. So strong start in the striking department here in round one. Oh, nice combination put together by Higo. And in this, you're looking at Pico. He's trying to give some kicks, doing a lot of boxing. Higo is becoming the mixed martial artist, bringing in all elements. This is Higo's 23rd fight as a professional. This is Pico's fifth fight as a pro. Nice job of trying to jab his way in, taking his time, re-establishing. That's all smart fighting by Aaron Pico. I guess I should mention that Pico started wrestling at four, began boxing at nine, excelled in both. And now, again, many people believe on the fast track to superstardom, but in tough here against Pico. But A lot of people are looking at Higo and going, well, he's being set up as a sacrificial lamb. I don't think he is. I think, I think Leandro Higo is a stud. Oh. I have been in the cage with him. I watched him go against Eduardo Dantes, the, the champion at the time, and get a split decision where actually it looked like Higo won. Right uppercut, left body kick oh. by Higo. Big shot. Higo tags him with the right hand. Eric Pico has Higo hurt in round number one. Higo's looking, though. He's smart. He's keeping his eyes on Pico. That shows, you know, he knows where he's at. And Pico putting it on Higo, and yet Higo responds like a pro and a veteran, but then gets tagged again with that lightning quick one, two. But you have to be impressed with the composure and maturity of Aaron Pico. Oh, left hand, right hand. No one. 
when a guy does not know where he is at. He did not know where he was at. He was hurt. Your job's to protect him. You might as well start spelling Pico, P-I-K-O. He does it again here with another first round finish. And this one should open some eyes as Leandro Higo has challenged for the Bell of Bellator 135 pound title. So much experience, and yet he gets stopped like all the others on the winning side of the resume for Aaron Pico. It's power, Mora. Watch the left hand here. It's flat. Right hand. Boom. Lands right where you want it to be, right on that chin. Puts him down, and then it's the shots afterwards. Watch that right hand. Just puts Higo down. He is hurt. Hammer fist coming after him. He's trying right here, trying to bring him into his guard. At this point, when you're not seeing the punches, you can't see what is hitting you, and you are being hurt. It is time to get the fighter out of the range of a guy that can put him down and out forever. That's why you see Higo falling over. He has no control of his body. His brain is trying to tell him, you know, he's, all that training is there. His body will not respond. Pico celebrating with Antonio McKee, man who has mentored him, trained him at the body shop, but again, an embarrassment of riches when it comes to those who are helping Aaron Pico on his path in MMA, including the legendary boxing trainer, Freddie Roach. Well, one thing you can't really teach is power. And when you look at the speed of what Aaron Pico brings with that punch and the power that is behind it, it's a hard thing to deal with. You're not gonna take him down with a normal takedown. So you have got to punch your way through him, which obviously not a whole lot of people are gonna be able to do. And the more experience he gets, the more exciting and the more dangerous he's gonna be. So why should people get on Aaron Pico's bandwagon after tonight's fight, John? Look, at there are guys out there that just have it, Oro. They are, the, they have not only the fight ability, they have that X factor of who they are and the way they represent themselves. Aaron Pico is a star. With the official decision, here is Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end. Three minutes, 19 seconds into round number one. The winner by TKO, Aaron Pico. The Aaron Pico Show delivers another memorable episode here in San Jose. He's standing by with Big John McCarthy. Congratulations, Aaron Pico. You were going up against a guy that had a ton of experience. He was a stud fighter, and you just put him out. How are you feeling right now? Well, I've been saying before the fight that he's never fought a guy on my level, a guy that hits as hard as me, that pushes the pace. I'm not gonna get tired. I'm gonna go 25 an hour, however long you want me to go. I said it before the fight. People didn't believe me, but it feels good to go out there and do it against a tough guy like Leandro Higo, because he came to fight. That's one thing, Brazilians come to fight, and I respect that. There is no doubt he came to fight, and in that first round there, he hit you with a couple of big shots. Did they hurt you at all? I just had to, I just had to, uh, to regain focus. It wasn't nothing crazy. I just had to regain focus, use my jab, because I knew he was going to start running. And, uh, but, but absolutely, it, it, it puts you in check. But hey, you got to just roll with the punches, like they say. Well, I can see that you were trying to open up your game a little bit more than just boxing. You were trying to bring some kicks in there, yeah. trying to open up, using a little bit of the knees inside. How do you feel your progression as a mixed martial artist is coming? My, my progression is, is going fantastic, working with the best coaches in the world. Am I an all-around complete fighter? Yeah, no, absolutely not. But that's what wakes me up in the morning to be the best. I'll tell you one thing. Three, four years from now, there'll be nobody on this planet that touches me in this cage. Well, I'll tell you right now, that was an outstanding performance against an outstanding fighter in Leandro Higo. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Aaron Pico. Can you say confidence 